everybody and welcome back to Rise and Yoga Online. Today we are going to do a short Hatha Yoga class. Uh, so this is perfect for beginners or if you just need a quick yoga fix. Um, as always, make sure you have some space or a mat, some comfy clothes and some water nearby if you need that. And remember to listen to your body and please stop doing anything if you feel any pain. From here we're going to start coming to a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. So bring hands to the tops of the knees, sitting up nice and tall, and then closing down your eyes. Starting to settle in. And start to let go of your day so far. Letting go of any plans for after our class. And just bringing your awareness to the present moment so we can focus on our practice today. From here we'll start to bring your awareness to your breath. So focusing on taking deep inhales all the way down into your tummy. And long exhales completely emptying your lungs. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. Taking this opportunity to use the full capacity of your lungs. With each inhale, feeling your spine start to lengthen and grow a little bit taller. And with each exhale, feeling your muscles start to relax and release. Inhale, grow. Exhale, relax. From here, you'll start to relax down through the muscles of your face, relaxing through your forehead, eyebrows, behind the eyes, and your jaw until your face is completely relaxed. And then bringing your awareness back to your breath, trying to keep your face completely relaxed. finish we'll take a deep inhale together and as you exhale we sigh out of the mouth and again inhale exhale sigh once more inhale exhale release on your next inhale we'll start to gently flutter the eyes open oh yeah all right, from here we're going to swivel around if you need to so that you're facing along your mat and either rolling over the knees or coming however you like to all fours. So setting up so you've got wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. You're looking down in between your thumbs to start with a nice neutral spine. And we're going to cusp them under your hands, so spreading fingers out wide, pressing down through each of your knuckles. It's going to help take some of the pressure off your wrists. So from here we're going to come to some cat cows, taking an inhale together and exhale. Inhale, we start to lift through the tail, drop your belly, open through your chest, look up. And exhale, we start by tucking the tail under, slowly working your way up your spine, curling under until your chin is looking towards your belly button. Inhale, we open up, start at the base of your spine, work your way up, so head comes up last. 
Exhale, curling under. Inhale, open, trying to match the whole breath to the whole movement so you never quite stop breathing or moving. Exhale. Stretching the back. Let's go one more time. Inhale. Exhale. And on your next inhale, coming back to a neutral spine. And then from here, we're just going to sit straight back on your heels, bring your forehead down to the mat, coming to your child's pose. So you're welcome to come back to this pose at any point throughout the class for any reason at all, whatever works for you. If your forehead doesn't quite reach the mat, feel free to stack your hands with one or two fists and you can rest your head on it. Or if you have a block or a cushion, you're welcome to rest your head on that as well. On your next inhale, start to make your way back up to all fours. We're going to reset by hasta bandering those hands spread, fingers wide, press down through your knuckles. We take an inhale, tuck your toes under, and as you exhale, we're starting to lift your knees, lift your hips, coming to a downward dog. So we're going to ease our way into this, find some movement, heading through the feet, sway through your hips and your shoulders, whatever feels nice for your body. And then whenever you're ready, come into a moment of stillness, pressing heels down towards the mat, pressing chest back towards your thighs, and feel free to bend your knees as much as you need. You're more than welcome to keep the knees quite bent if you like. Keep spreading fingers out wide, pressing down through the knuckles. Keep squeezing shoulder blades down your back. Holding for three more breaths here. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, start to walk the feet up to in between your hands. Come into a forward fold at the top of your mat. So we're going to bend your knees so you can rest your chest all the way down on your thighs. So really bend your knees. And then let your head and arms hang down, looking towards your legs. And then on your next inhale, starting to very slowly roll your way up to standing with head coming up towards the sky. All right, from here, we're going to set up into your Tadasana mountain pose. So we're bringing the big toes together, heels are slightly apart. We're drawing up through your kneecaps, activate your quads. We have a little micro bend in the backs of your knees to activate through your hamstrings. From here, shoulders are coming up, back and down, feeling your energy all the way through to your fingertips, and then starting to lightly tuck the chin in and down, elongating through the back of your neck. Take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Same thing as when we were sitting down at the beginning. As you inhale, we grow taller. As you exhale, we feel the muscles relaxing. Fingertips being pulled back down towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to continue with a classical Surya Namaskar, classical sun salutation. So we're taking an inhale together and exhale. Inhale, arms come up above your head. Exhale, we fold forwards, bend your knees, relax your head down. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Hands can come to thighs, shins, or fingertips touching the mat, looking for a nice flat back. Exhale, plant your palms down, step your right foot back, and lower your right knee down towards the mat. Inhale, we lift up, pressing forwards with the back hip, opening through the chest. Exhale, plant your palms down. Inhale, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step your left foot back to your high plank. As you exhale, we're going to lower your knees and start to lower your chest down towards the mat, keeping tummy in and elbows as close to your body as you can. We're lowering down. Keep elbows in. Once you reach the bottom, 
Inhale, ring lift up to your cobra. Squeezing shoulder blades back, squeezing belly button in, and cobra has no limbs. So feet together, hands up. We're using your back to lift you up. As you exhale, we're going to tuck your toes, lift the knees and hips, press back to your downward dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, step your right foot up to in between your hands, help it up if you need to. Exhale, lower left knee. Making sure that your toes are in between your fingertips. Inhale, we lift up, pressing forwards with the back foot, pressing forwards with the back hip, so your left hip open through your shoulders. Exhale, plant the palms. Inhale, step the left foot up to your right, flat back. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, reach forwards to come back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Nice work, left side. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, reach forwards to go down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot back, lower left knee down. Inhale, lifting up. Press forward with the left hip, open through your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tuck the left toes, lift the back knee and step your right foot back, high plank. And exhale, we lower knees, lower through your chest, elbows stay close. Inhale, we lift up, squeeze shoulders back. Exhale, pressing back to downward dog. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, step your left foot up to in between your hands, help it up if you need. Exhale, lower right knee. Inhale, lifting up, press forwards with the back hip, open through the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, step your right foot up to meet the left, come into your flat back. And exhale, we fold, bend your knees, relax your head. Inhale, reach forwards to come up. And exhale, hands to heart centre. Beautiful, take a moment here, close your eyes. Come back to your breath. From here, we're going to start to step your feet out along the mat. Come to just a little bit wider than a meter's distance apart, but depending on your height, you might want to adjust it a little bit. So we're going to turn your right foot out. Turn your left foot slightly in. So the back heel is pressing down, um, so the whole outside edge of your foot is down on the mat. From here, we're going to keep your hips facing the front, keep your chest facing the front. We inhale, arms come up, and as you exhale, we're going to tilt towards the right and start to fold down, coming to Trikonasana, triangle pose. So if you have hyperextended legs like me, there's a temptation to dump down into that leg. Keep a tiny bend so you stay active through the leg. From here, we want to think of opening chest up towards the ceiling as much as you can. If you like, you can bring your hand to your lower back if that feels more comfortable for your shoulder. So try not to dump down too much into that bottom hand. You can bring the hand in front and use your core to hold yourself in. We're holding for four more breaths. Take an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist a tiny bit further towards the ceiling. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, once more, inhale, exhale, look down, inhale, we're coming up, and exhale, lower arms, switch your feet around, so turning the right foot slightly in, left foot turns out, keeping hips facing the front, inhale, arms come up, exhale, we tilt, and fold, trikonasana on the other side, remember you can bring hands in the lower back if you like, Opening chest up towards the ceiling, keeping that little micro bend in the front leg and trying not to dump down into the bottom hand. Use your core, hold yourself here. Keep pressing down through the outside edge of your back foot. Four breaths, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, grow a little taller, exhale, twist a little further. One more breath. And exhale, we look down. Inhale, coming up. 
and lower the arms down, switch the feet around. We're going to widen your stance a little bit, so legs are a bit further apart. This time turning right foot out, left foot turns slightly in. We're going to, again, keep hips and chest facing the front. Inhale, arms come up. And as you exhale, this time we're bending the right knee, coming to your warrior two. So, we're trying to get knee to go in line with your second toe. So watch that the knee doesn't start to fall forwards. You want to press it back. Tuck your tail under so you have a little more range of movement through the hips. And keep pressing down through the outside edge of your left foot. All right, from here, we're reaching fingertip to fingertip, looking for that nice straight line and sending your piercing warrior gaze out over your right hand. Holding for four breaths here, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more breaths, once more, on your next inhale we straighten the knee and exhale lower the arms down, switch your feet around, turning the right foot slightly and left foot turns out, keep facing the front, inhale arms come up, Exhale, bending the left knee. Nice. So we're trying to get that knee directly above your ankle. So if you find it's going over your toe a bit, step your foot out a little bit wider and try it like that. Keep pressing that knee back behind you, tucking tail under, belly button is engaged, and reach your hands from side to side, looking out over your left fingertips. Warrior two. Feel that piercing warrior gaze going out over your left finger. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Once more. And as you inhale, we straighten the leg. Exhale, lower the arms from here. We're gonna step your feet in together. And we're going to come down to the mat by a deep squat, so any hip or knee or ankle issues, or if you're not comfortable with this, just hop down however you like. Otherwise, we're bringing, bringing your feet to about mat width apart, turn them slightly out, take an inhale, arms come up in front, and exhale, we are lowering down, squatting down, knees go out over your toes, booties go back behind you, so tilting forwards, coming all the way down. Take a moment here, and then gracefully sitting back. Nice work, hopefully you were nice and graceful. Okay, from here, we're going to swivel around and stretch your legs out along the mat. We're going to flex your feet so toes are pointing out towards the ceiling. And then we want to sit up as tall as you can. So if that means you need to bend your knees a little bit so that you can sit up tall, do that. I'd rather bent knees and tall back than having to sink back to keep your legs straight. So bending them a bit, we're going to take an inhale, reach up as high as you can, and exhale, we're gonna start to hinge forwards from your hips, bringing arms down to your legs, ankles, feet. We're looking for a straight back. So imagining you're folding from your hips, chest is going forwards rather than down, and looking ahead of you. So as you inhale, we lengthen through the spine. Exhale, hinging a little bit further. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Once more, inhale. And this time when you exhale, we're going to allow your spine to relax down, curling under. You're welcome to bend your knees and you can slide your arms underneath and give yourself a little hug if you like. Whatever works. Whether your head, neck, or left. One more inhale and exhale. Inhale, reaching forwards, arms come up and exhale, arms come down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come to, we're going to reverse the stretch. So, bringing hands back behind you about a hand's distance away from your glutes with fingers pointing back towards your body. 
if this feels uncomfortable for your wrists, you can try with fingers pointing out to the side, or if you can try fingers pointing away from you, just whatever works for you. If you feel any pain in the wrists as you do this, come down. So from here, we're going to bend your knees. So feet are about hip distance apart. Um, we're going to take an inhale, we lift up out of your chest. Exhale, squeeze your belly button in. Inhale, we're going to press down through the whole foot. Squeeze your glutes together and start to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Now, if your hips come in line with the rest of your body, you can, if your neck feels comfortable, let your head rock back. If not, try and keep your chin in towards your chest. I'm going to keep pressing down through the arms, keep pressing down through the legs. Holding for three more breaths. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bring chin in towards your chest. And then slowly lower yourself down. Nice. Sit forwards for a moment. Interlace your fingers and give your wrists a little roll. One way. And the other way. From here, we're going to stretch like that in front. Shuffle forwards on your mat so you've got lots of room behind you to come down to line. Take an inhale, arms and legs out in front. And exhale, slowly imprinting your spine down on the mat. Lying down. Coming to your Shavasana. So allow the feet to splay outwards. Arms to rest by your sides with palms facing up towards the ceiling. And your head to relax directly in the center of your shoulders. Just taking this time to let all the work you've done sink into your body. Taking this time just to be with yourself. You can stay here for as long as you'd like. If you want to stay here, feel free to pause the video and play again when you're ready to come back. So you start to bring your awareness back to the space. Start to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Bring a little bit of movement back to fingertips, toes, wrists and ankles. You might like to take arms overhead for a full body stretch. Or maybe hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a gentle rock from side to side. And then whenever you're ready, rolling over onto your right side. I'm just taking a moment here. And then again in your own time, starting to make your way back to sitting. 
keeping your eyes closed if you can or just slightly open. Just take a moment to notice how you're feeling right now. Within your body, your mind, and your spirit. And bring hands to heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself for all your hard work and for showing up for your practice today. I wish for you kind thoughts, kind words, and a kind heart. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that practice. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or criticism, feel free to let me know by commenting on this video or you can message me through the contact page um, on my website. Um, feel free to send through any requests that you have for future classes. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.